Even conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar would have never even in his wildest dream imagined that the two Bollywood beauties Jacqueline Fernandez and Nora Fatehi who were linked with him for different reasons would have such a public face off and one of them would accuse the other of sabotaging her career due to professional rivalries and insecurities. Yes, in the news just coming in today, Nora Fatehi has gone ahead and filed a defamation suit against Jacqueline Fernandez. Now Nora has alleged that Jacqueline made defamatory imputations against her, accusing Jacqueline of being unfairly competitive. Nora has written, Jacqueline Fernandez sought to criminally defame her in order to destroy her career to further her own interests since they are both working in the same industry and have similar backgrounds. But Nora doesn't stop at that. She has also sued 15 media organizations claiming that Jacqueline and these media outlets were all together in defaming her to destroy her career that is of course seeing new highs with one hit item number after the other. Leaving nothing to imagination, Nora has written in her petition that a conspiracy by the accused number one, that is of course Jacqueline Fernandez in this case, to ensure the financial, social and personal downfall of Nora was hatched and enacted by the said action. Her rapidly progressing career quite obviously has threatened her rivals who are unable to compete with her on a fair footing. It has started to become evident that these rivals are being unable to compete with Nora fairly in the industry and are trying to tarnish her reputation which would cause her loss of work and hence would open up greener pastures for them in the industry. Yes, that's what Nora is accusing Jacqueline Fernandez of who is already battling a string of flop movies and major accusations in the con man Sukesh Chandrasekhar case. And there is a fundamental difference in the way Enforcement Directorate also is looking at both these beauties Jacqueline Fernandez and Nora Fatehi in this case. While Jacqueline is an accused in the case and did you know by the way that she is currently out on bail, Nora is being treated as one of the witnesses. So by that logic, Jacqueline is in a far more precarious condition and can even be arrested if the court rules so in its next hearing which was adjourned by a week today in Delhi where Jacqueline was also present. And that's only because Jacqueline has not yet received complete copies of the charge sheet against her and the other documents from the Enforcement Directorate. Now, as you would remember, Jacqueline was summoned by the ED several times in the past in connection with the investigation against Sukesh Chandrasekhar and has been named as an accused in the supplementary charge sheet. While Jacqueline Fernandez and Nora Fatehi have both been questioned by the Enforcement Directorate several times in the past, but Jacqueline must be especially cursing the day she met and then fell in love with this con man because now this actress is in deep trouble, lock, stock and barrel into a legal tangle that seems like it's only going to get worse from here on with of course Nora filing a defamatory case against her. Both are said to have received expensive gifts from the con man but are now paying the price for it in kind. According to the ED, Sukesh was confronted with Jacqueline Fernandez on 20th October last year when she revealed that he had arranged private jet trips and her hotel stay many times before. Statements of Nora Fatehi also revealed that she got a booking for a charity event and then she was gifted a Gucci bag and one iPhone by Sukesh's wife Lena Paulos who told Nora that her husband was also gonna gift her a brand new BMW car as a token of love. Wow, why photo I see? Anyway, what are your thoughts on this strangely developing case of two Hasinas, one Pakhandi or Uski Bivi? Frankly to me, it's starting to become quite funny in a very weird way with such hair raising developments in this case. And when the hair is out of the hair, let me remind you that the full 40% off on the It Really Works Vitamins is back and it's on right here only on this channel if you order with the link in the description below. It's straight 40% off on your three month supply of it really works vitamins because i have used it and which is why i'm talking about it well order it now if you need it or else ignore it like how the tihar jail authorities ignored all rules while letting con man sukesh chandrasekhar run a shady business from behind the bars well that's all in this video let us know if you like this video if you didn't like the video you can directly let me know on instagram and on facebook it's at the rate review ron it's at the rate ron akurich on twitter like share subscribe and hit the bell icon if you find our videos worth it but don't forget to comment whatever is on your mind as always even if you don't do any of these things it's okay just take care of yourself and those around you thank you so much for watching this one jai hind